All right, so we just picked some radishes. They are cherry bell radishes, so they're not supposed to be as big as the ones you find in the store, but uh, they were ready to go, so we decided to pick them. And uh, we'll probably add them to uh, a dish tonight and enjoy them. So that's what cherry bell um, radishes look like. And they're about 22 to 24 days. Um, and uh, they were pretty spot on. So I think we picked them at 24 days. So there you go, our first harvest. All right, welcome back everybody. Um, it's been uh, about a week or so since we last saw you guys. And uh, both Eric and I have uh, come under with uh, a little bit of a head cold. Um, we've been cleaning and uh, getting a little dusty and apparently that dust has gone to our, our head. So uh, we are probably sounding not the best right now, but that's okay. Um, that's what the sun is for. It's gonna get us nice and warm. Uh, and hopefully clear out some of this uh, sickness that we got from all the dust. So today, like I said, uh, not feeling very well. Uh, we are walking through the field, just seeing what's coming up. Um, we have some really warm weather uh, coming. And uh, we're trying to see if we're going to need to water or not. Uh, hand water. And maybe put up some sprinklers. So um, let's come along and see what we've got going on with the rows. And uh, we'll uh, get you guys up to speed with that. All right. So uh, from last time we uh, talked to you guys, uh, we added some cucumbers, which have all come up. So we've got some cucumbers to come on up. We had to water them yesterday. They were wilting. Uh, we haven't had a lot of rain lately. So um, those are coming up, which is great. Uh, one of the great things about the way we did our rows is that you can easily walk over them. So this is our squash. Uh, it just keeps doing a great job. Our squash is just unbelievable here. Uh, every single one has come up, so we're going to have to come back and thin that out. But it's looking pretty good at the moment. Um, we went ahead and planted another row of squash. Uh, this time we spaced it out a little bit more so that um, we didn't have as many to thin out and they have been coming up great. Uh, you'll notice that there's a huge hole. What could that be? Well, that would be our friendly deer that like to walk through our property. So, uh, yes, the deer have made its way through a couple of times um, and you guys can see that there. So... You know, it's just something that you got to deal with when you have a farm is the deer. So I'm going to keep walking along here. Um, let's see. The other thing that we planted that has come up like no tomorrow is radishes. Oh, boy. So if you can see this, right, we have an entire row of radishes. That's right. Lots and lots of radishes. So if any of you love radishes or you have some fantastic radish uh recipes let us know because we are going to have lots and lots of radishes the other thing that we're going to have a lot of are peas so every single one of our peas that we have gone ahead and planted has come up so we're going to be uh, putting up our trellises here uh, shortly and we're going to have lots and lots of peas so for those of you that like peas let us know we'll get some to you but yes, we'll have a lot of peas. Um, this one uh, is the sugar snap peas. And we have two rows of that. And we have more two rows of those. So yes, lots of peas coming up. Uh, we just got our sweet potatoes in the mail. The other day they were bare root. Um, some of them looked really good. Some of them not so much. So uh, when you do sweet potatoes... Uh, you actually have to mound them up about 8 to 12 inches high and then uh, you plant them in. So we're going to go ahead and water these again this morning. Um, you do want to plant them later in the afternoon, but uh, I know they don't look real good right now, but sweet potatoes are pretty hardy. So we're pretty sure that they'll come back. And then we have our rows of potatoes. So um, our potatoes have been unbelievable. Uh, you guys can kind of see as we go through the potatoes here, uh, um, they're all coming up. So 
I have to do some weeding here, but uh, yeah, so here we go. Right, so we have whole rows of potatoes. So for those of you that love potatoes, uh, Erica's family, like I said, is Irish. So you gotta have your potatoes for that. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of them. So uh, that's coming up. Uh, so that's been going good really far. So we're really happy about that. And then finally, we've gotten our sweet corn. So our sweet corn, which is the Illini sweet, uh, extra sweet, is starting to sprout here. So we did replant a couple of them already where we saw holes, um, but uh, so far some of it's come in, not as much as I would have liked, but um, that's okay. You live, you learn, you move on. So like we said, this first year was going to be, uh, let's see what comes up and we'll go from there. So, so that's how everything's looking out in the rows. Cold. So we found six baby bunnies in our raspberries. There's our raspberries, there's the hole, and there's the six baby bunnies. So we're gonna go relocate them to a safer area where they can live. Alright, so we have relocated the bunnies uh, to a hole uh, underneath the lilacs near the house, and uh, hopefully they'll survive the night. We're hoping Mama Bunny will uh, see them, and boy were they tiny. But I think they'll do okay. Eric and I are both pretty convinced that they'll be fine. But uh, but yeah, we had six baby bunnies. Uh.